Nurses, they're the heart and soul of the health system and the largest single profession within the medical field. Theirs is a job that hinges on knowing a little about a lot, having unfailing empathy and fighting an often losing battle with the reality of death. But they're more than just the historical and media archetypes. They're real people who wake up every day to do an often difficult job. Who could forget the impact made by Casilda Bowman and the entire nursing staff of Belize's COVID wards who stared us through the darkest moment of the pandemic. And as iconic as those contributions are, the role of nurse doesn't begin and end with wars, pandemics and national emergencies. Nurses are always on call, doing everything in their power to care for and support individual patients through the hardest of times. And this morning ahead of Nurses Week, we spoke to one nurse caring for patients who've yet to start a life outside of the hospital. Here we're responsible for the care of the preterm or the newborn babies, whether preterm or any babies that have, um, they're not healthy at birth. Whether they have malformation, they burn premature, they have problem breathing, they need surgery. That's what we do from birth to 28 days. The main thing right now is we're short of staff. So a lot of the times we are working with not enough or not adequate staff in regards to the amount of patients that we have to take care of. But I must say thanks to the team that I work with, a lot of time nurses come in and do overtime so that we could better care for our patients. In Belize, we expect babies over 28 weeks to survive and go home. But we had several babies 26, 27 weeks who managed to go home. And then we also have some surgeries, like a couple years ago, we had a surgery that was done for the first time in Belize, and the baby made it and went home well, and doing well so far. And whatever the illness and stage in a person's life, one thing they can count on is that their nurse will strive to keep their best interests at heart. You often think, I'm sick, I need a doctor. But tell me, why is it that people need a nurse? Well, because the nurse is the one is at the, that is at the bedside, and then the nurse is the one that's observing the patient, and you know we build that relationship with that patient, and we can see what they need beside the order that the doctor prescribed, or you know. So we just monitor them, and if they have any concern or issue, we will take that to the doctor, and we would advocate and wait for voice for our patient, right? So we support them because we're here to, you know, communicate, you know. Communicate with us and we'll support you. As you can see, nurses run the gamut from supporting players to everyday warriors. Many of them, like the ones in accident and emergency, have the daily responsibility of fighting to save lives. Our daily duties comprise of having the area prepared for when any emergency comes in, whether it's by staff or um, having our equipment and our supplies readily available. And then we operate on a five-level level basis. And so in that instance, we can categorize our patients and deal with them based on their priority. At that accident and emergency, we see almost everything on a daily basis. And we are different from other nurses because we have to deal with them as they come. We don't get any, like, call. Sometimes we do get calls. That, and we know what type of patients are coming. But like I said, we have to deal with them as they come. So we must always be prepared here at the emergency unit. The KHMH nurses told us that what they love about their jobs are the opportunities they have to help people and to make sure that whether their hospital stays are long or short, they are comfortable and never lacking in dignity. Sharice Halso, 7 News.